पीएचडी करना था तो कुछ सोचा नहीं मैंने कर लो करनी है तो मुझे खुद करनी है लेकिन एक दो साल बाद कर हम कुछ कुछ करेंगे साइंस के फील्ड में नहीं सिर्फ हाँ कुछ लोग डॉक्टर के लिए करते हैं वैसे नहीं करना पर हाँ और तेरे को अगर एब्रोड भी जाना होगा पीएचडी के लिए या फिर कोई भी जॉब के लिए नरेटिव में पीएचडी करनी है उसके बाद सोचो की करनी है की वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ पी एच डी एवरीबडी लाव हाउ कैन यू नॉट लाव वॉट इज पी एच डी ओके दिस इज वेरी सरप्राइजिंग नो वन आस्क मी दिस क्वेश्चन बिफोर पी एच डी इज पागल होने में देर एंड आई काइंड ऑफ कंकर विद इट इन अ बट इट्स अ way it's a process of getting to a happy state of pagalpan phd to me is fundamentally an exercise in patience an exercise in developing scientific temper we all are naturally born with scientific temper but to hone it to a point where you can try and do science from a very unbiased place is a non trivial process and we need to kind of uh, sort of channelize it in a slightly different way for phd so the journey of phd essentially prepares you to do that so a phd at least uh, the way i look at it i think it's a more it's more of a way of life it's uh, it should not be definitely looked upon as a course or uh, another uh, set of classes uh, i think it's a way by which you train yourself to think about critical problems it definitely involves um, developing strategies to critically think to deal with problems and uh, to utilize the information you've got at different stages of your life and use it at the right time to move ahead one of my thesis committee members was jeff hall who's a nobel laureate he was not a nobel laureate when he was my thesis committee member that happened recently and i remember in a discussion with him i asked him so what do you think a phd should accomplish and he said a phd you pick a problem and you answer it and that sort of stayed with me i think it's very hard to do because you can't pick a big problem you have to pick a small problem and it is in picking that small problem and trying to answer it you do original research that is you find out something new i can't think of a more amazing thing to do <laughs> It's so amazing. I mean you so often what you think of what you think of as hypotheses turn out to be wrong. Sometimes techniques fail, sometimes the whole hypothesis fails, sometimes the whole idea of your project itself which you based it on you figure out as you do it that you know you didn't think about it deeply enough that there are many more nuances to it and your answers are actually telling you that you should have thought about the question differently. So I like this uh, quote which I forget who had said this but science is seeing what doing what everyone else has done but seeing what no one else has seen so phd is all about training or figuring out from a context everything and and then trying to interpret things which people have not interpreted previously when a uh, apple fell from the tree everybody had seen apple falling it was only newton who figured out that there is something which is making the apple fall down and not fly up so that is a philosophical thinking so i say that phd is more about developing or developing a habit of thinking philosophical speaking more philosophical and expressing yourself philosophically it is an expedition it is a it's a treasure hunt okay you even don't know whether that treasure is there or not neither you nor your supervisor quote and quote guide why i call it a treasure hunt because of this word the guide right and like any treasure hunt you have a map the map is your literature review which tells you that okay something might be there your guide who have traveled that area to some extent have not yet found that treasure but at least know the terrains know for which fountain can be poisonous or where can be some toxic thing so can kind of guide you a little bit and third thing that you need is the compass and that is your own intuition your own creativity so compass map your guide and then you go for an, an expedition in which you really don't know whether it is there whether you will get a success or not so that is i call it phd it trains you to ask questions um more than how to answer a question when you start your phd 
perhaps your guide tells you there's this question that I would like you to work on and so on. But at the end of the PhD, you are somebody who knows how to ask good questions. So that's what it trains you for. It trains you in something very useful in life. Asking interesting questions based on lacunae in our current knowledge, learning research methodology which should be applied for you know answering those questions, critical thinking of your results, comparing it with others, and if they are different, then you know sort of uh, why they are different. You have to explain that. And at the end of which you will be given a PhD, which in my opinion is only a license to practice science, just like a driving license. And to learn how to collect evidence based upon a certain set of concepts and the perception of the gap between concepts and evidence, that's the purpose of a doctoral program. So by the end of your doctoral program, you should be in a position, all of us should be in a position to be able to take a situation where there is a gap between concepts and evidence and to say, here's how it can be filled. Uh, it is basically addition to knowledge by learning methodology, scientific thinking, scientific temper and scientific method. So uh, it's a license basically to practice science. By the end of a BSc MSc program, what you should, what all of us should begin to realize is that there are gaps between concepts and evidence. A doctoral program is a training program to begin to learn how to bridge the gaps in places where nobody has bridged the gap as yet. So you build a new Gap bridge. MSc students they undergo some kind of dissertation, they do a project for a short period of time. In that, we do not expect them to answer something called as why. But when it comes to PhD, we it's like uh, if we are not able to answer why, it is like just uh, like a stretched master's thesis. So therefore, for a PhD, in addition to how a person should be able to un answer why. It's, it's not a BSc where you get a basic uh, knowledge about the science that you are studying or it is a master of science where you get to know how does it work. Right? But in, in, in PhD you actually uh, try to understand the philosophy behind it. Okay. So what does that mean? It means that it is not that anymore gaining knowledge. It is about seeking knowledge or it is about seeking the answers that the question that you are raising. Okay, and how do you approach it? So that approach, uh, the developing that approach is, I think, is, is a doctorate of philosophy. Um, I do think a PhD should be viewed as an enjoyable process and um, unfortunately it's becoming uh, very stressful as uh, time goes on. Um, but it does give you critical uh, skills in thinking about uh, problems related to science or any other field and using your information to help allow that field to progress and move ahead. But increasingly I begin to question whether this approach is serving our students right because so many students come to do a PhD in our country and of course there's a number of scientists per capita we are very very small and there seems to be a lot of frustration because at one time at one hand you want them to find new things which is always hard on the other hand you constrain them by saying you have funding for only x amount of time during which time you have to figure it out so i think those two approaches sort of clash with each other and it's very difficult then in from a human point of view to justify that because so many of our students then struggle with funding, struggle with are they going to find things out and you know many of them come into science being very enthusiastic because they've read some textbook. The textbook or they've heard some interesting talk or read some interesting paper but the reality of everyday doing research is a lot of repetition, doing the same thing over and over again, collecting bags and bags of data and then 
not being sure whether what you've interpreted is right and doing one more experiment to do the whole thing iteratively again. And it's right for some people and it may not be the best step forward for other people. Because PhD is very unforgiving, the journey, very rarely will you have voila moments where everything worked like magic. So it is an exercise in patience, learning patience, learning to be patient. So hence, the shortest PhD that I've ever seen in my life is three and a half years. But that person is only the one person that I know in 20 years who got a PhD in three and a half years in Indian context. In the Indian context, doing a PhD in that shorter period is not trivial. Minimum time required is four and a half to five years, including your submission depends on everything. And sometimes I wonder if we as a scientific community need to reimagine the PhD. That's the most answer, honest answer I can give you. I feel nauseous, believe me. Never had a lot of sh come easy. Had to work hard, struggle just to be me. Had to rise up just so they could see me. Did what I had to do just to feed me. And what was left over, I put towards my dreaming. But the only thing in life that has meaning are the things you gotta work for, believe me. Take into your hands a plan. Your own hands can land your own brand. And damn, I feel like no one takes account.